So a formal welcome to part two as we go through the first day, part two of the first day, I suppose, um, of us trying to do the race for legend. Now we left off uh, just about to get into rank eight here. Let's go ahead and hit the go button. Oh, 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 wait, we don't wanna, we don't wanna cheat this timer at all. Start the timer, then hit the go button. That's, that's the level of authenticity of reliability, of uh, transparency that we hold ourselves to here. Strong standard, accountability, etc. Opening up with the mirror match. You know, I've, I've become more and more of a fan of the Rallying Blade as I've played, as I've played with this deck. It's just nice to have another weapon, man. There's not, there's not that many weapons in this deck. And there's not that much, like, it's not, I almost never have felt like I'm in a position where it's like, oh man, I've got a weapon on the board and I just used a charge of it, it still has a charge, I don't want to be inefficient and play my other one, but since it's taking up the slot in my hand, I don't have a good turn, uh, a good play for this turn. I have yet to feel that. And it's, it's probably because, unlike Pirates, there's no, like, upgrade here. So these are always two charge weapons. So they're at most on the field for two turns. But they give you that, like, control of being on the field, you know? Hmm. I'm gonna go like this. So I want to squeeze some value out of here. I want to be on the value side of this matchup, I think. With this hand, with Tyrion already in hand, I think I want to be on the value side of this matchup. So we're going to go ahead and play a little slow. That's slightly unfortunate. We're gonna go ahead and play the buffed one. Make sure he thinks that's the only one in our hand. Sure, he can trade like that, but that's all right. We basically played a three mana three four that turn and like cleaned up a two two that he started with from the taking down our tap. So we're coming out on top here, I think. Now what would really be nice is this true silver champion here. Because then I could sack this one out, I could drop this guy down. It would feel all nice and good. Okay, I mean... Sure, that's good for him and all, but that's his consecration down. So I coin out a tap here. Hmm. I don't think so. Because I can coin out Tyrion on turn 7. And that might be more important. I don't have, like... I mean, I have Curator. But that's it for turn 7 plays, so... Not so sure. Uh, let me do this. Okay, now get down. Um, uh, I think I, I'm going to do this. In which case do I coin out the tap? Or do I play the patches? This is a more favorable board, favorable board to play patches on to, but I still don't think it's good enough. So it's more of do I coin... But it's probably Repentance. I guess I should do this just to eat a secret, because it's either Eye for an Eye or Repentance. It's Eye for an Eye. Okay, it's Repentance. So that's fine. I eat a secret. That makes it worth it. I think that makes it worth it. 
Didn't really get much use out of it, but, you know, stop a secret. I'll take it. I'll take it. Not so bad. Not so bad. Let me think. Oh, he's on fire. Alright. Ooh, Spiker Steed, okay. Now we're looking pretty good. Now we're looking pretty good. I guess I'll go ahead and do this. Because the healing value for him doesn't really matter. I'm, I'm all in here. I don't think he has a way to deal with this. I could be wrong because he's going Dragon. And the Dragoon is a little bit different from what I'm running here. But I don't think the Dragoons have any... Oh, damn, that's painful. I forgot who Angoro belonged to. That was my bad. Well, ouch! That fucking hurt. <laughs> oh my god. Man, wow. Wow. Ten damage, huh? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I wanna... Uh, yeah. I bring some pain into my life. <laughs> Alright, well I guess we just uh, coin out to your in and uh, try and forget about that turn. Blah, 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 blah! That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> You're gonna get a super volley turn? A Tyrion. <laughs> Hopefully we work it, work it out there. And maybe this is the new hip thing to do the, uh, to do the Dragoons. Maybe perhaps this is the meta. And I am but a fool. We're still going this heavy in the water package. It's entirely possible. Maybe cut this. You pay. Maybe. I don't know what else I would cut. <laughs> I have a very low opinion of Grim Scale Chum, honestly. Um, curator draws. A Mega Sword, which isn't very helpful, even though it's an okay play. And. So I'm also going to make Mega Sword better. To be fair. Huh. Well, I guess I do this. I mean, I think he's my only option, right? Reporting for duty. Don't test me, child. I think it's okay to play the three three there. Like, it's not the most efficient trade, but, eh. The menagerie is for guests, okay. okay. And he gets three off it. Oh, he only gets two, okay. Hmm. No beast, huh? He's gotta, if he's running these, he's gotta be running the Megasaurus. He must have Megasaurus in hand. Which kind of blows for us. Make sure can give him some sick value. The menagerie is for guests only.
I think I'll do this. That way I can throw down the two war leaders next turn. And get this guy all buffed up. For justice, I already the battle. I mean, second consecration hurts. It does. Ah! Ouch. And that one also hurt. That did. The painful one. I mean, all right, you know. You pay So we did have a piece It's fine. So we know he's got the Piro. He's got the Piro! Let me think. Fortunately, we've gone through most of our oomph. Well, we do have the initiative now. Okay, we're going lose. Very interesting deck. Nesting rock. What? How interesting. You know, I'm seeing this card everywhere, man. I, I believe in the power of this card. I just, I just don't know that anyone else does, but I do. I certainly do. Let's see what we get here. Nice. Definitely will be taking this. Because I'm big! Yeah! <laughs> this was saved! Saved! Yes! Oh my goodness, so sack. As long as he doesn't have equality. Because we know he has a pyromancer in hand. <laughs> as long as he doesn't have equality. Okay, well, why wouldn't he play pyro? Okay, well, shit. Well, good thing we pulled Tyrion. Tyrion save me. Carrying for me. <laughs> I wonder. Follow the rule. Okay, that hurts. A little bit. That's a little bit. What else does he have? What is his plan? Okay, this is also bad. Okay. Okay. This could have gone worse. Very well could have gone worse. Five. 
I can't play this because then he'll break it and then he'll I'll lose the durability on this, and I need to squeeze every bit of value out of the cards I can. But I have to play this this turn. Let me think. I mean, I think I just let him do it. Let him do all the trades for me. Oh, another Aldor, man. The Aldors are really good too, man. This whole being about the Murloc thing. No, working so long anymore. I, I kind of dig this. Let us shoot. I believe we lost. Okay, you know what? Here's the thing. I feel like I'm losing... I feel like I'm losing the decks that are outvaluing me. So I think I need to turn up the aggression. I think it's time to turn up the aggression. I'm going to pick what I feel is the most aggressive deck out there. I mean, comparable Pyro Warrior, I suppose. Malfurion versus Gul'dan. Your soul shall be mine. I must protect. I don't know. I feel like this token druid is is the most aggressive thing out there. What? Um, what do we do here? I think we definitely keep Innervate. Keep War Leader. I think we can chuck both these back and look for something better to open with. We'll Fledgling off the top one time. We'll Fling it off the top one time. Very interesting. Your move. <laughs> okay, I think I swing with this because if it soaks like targeted and removal, that's good for fledgling. Oh, that's good. Together we shall get him to zero health. What a curve, man. Jeez. This board is nasty. Hellfire, no. Alright, that sucks for me. I cannot tell a lie. That blows. Man, brutal. Was not expecting the Hellfire. Forgot about the Hellfire. You need to respect the Hellfire. Notes itself. It's a very good top deck. Power of the top deck. I mean, he's at 12. A living mana is very helpful to us. Side effects. No. It's a very good card to run. I respect that. I respect that one. Oh, uh, do I save this for a beast? I, mean, I fucking wonder if I save this for a beast. I don't think I do. I think I just have to play it. All in on the tempo. Mythics. 
He's really putting putting himself in a good spot healing wise. Uh, that really sucks. Where were you earlier, my friend? Now is not the time. Uh, I mean, one point of damage for possibly like a living mana combo. I think I'll wait. Or possibly like a Blood Sail Corsair Latches combo. Man, he has so much healing! Holy smokes! Siphon Soul, Earthen Ring, Mistress, man. That's impressive. That is impressive. Unfortunately, I think he did it. We'd have to top deck living mana. I think it's the only thing that gets us back in this. There it is! Alright, does he have more AoE? Haven't seen a Shadow Flame. Twisting that one, okay. Respect it, I uh, respect it. We're looking for Wind Fury for the win here. Stealth would work out too. Comes the taunt. Mm. Alright. Okay. This is uh, not good. Not good. You have to do like this. Ooh, baby. This here's a toughie. You faced Ah, oh, Jaraxxus. Alright, he got us. Feel for not too much at this point. No. There he was. Different, different drawing sequence we could have uh, made that work. Perhaps, perhaps going to now finish off the first turn with the innervates was incorrect. Perhaps that is the case. Perhaps not. Perhaps that was just unfortunate. I think he, he curved out really well. So, I mean, kudos to him for that. He got a lot of healing, got a lot of taunt. And boy, did he need it. He threaded that needle very, very carefully. Pirates aren't likely to come out for a while. I guess I'll... Hmm. Trying to think, because if I if he plays a two three, or blows for us if I don't have this, so I think I will do this. I'll just hang on to it. Ah, uh, not what I wanted to see. 
Okay. Somebody's having fun. Loopy having fun. <laughs> Go ahead and clean this out. So we got a pretty good curve material here. Wow. That sucks. Brutal. I feel like we're against so much control, man. And it's actually, like, kicking our aggro decks in the face. Perhaps I should be doing some, like, some that beats the hell out of control. Like some more mid-rangey thing. Some mid-range hunter, perhaps. We should give that a try. Perhaps indeed. Something with some good staying power yet some definite timer potential. That sounds like mid-range hunter to me, if it sounds like anything. I mean this deck kinda of felt that way too though. Ooh, that's nice. Huh, perhaps, perhaps we out control the control. Maybe a Jade Druid would do that? Might go down the Jade Druid road here. Pretty good burst, honestly. It's feasible I should just like hit bank on this ability right now. Let's do it. Not getting lethal off it, but it puts him so low. It's gonna be hard for him to survive. Fortunately for you, though, got the the living mana, so many manas. What's the answer? Oh, I was looking for a one drop. I bet. Well, no, actually, because it would still only deal one damage. Wouldn't actually make a difference. All right, there it is. Give it a couple more games. See how it's feeling. But I might switch over to the to my big druid or my my jade druid. Try and out at, or out control the control decks. Because if we're really truly in control, meta nowadays, if that is what I'm truly seeing here, then you have yet to see the control player. <laughs> I, I remember the good old days of old school Warlock, the true handlock. Oh yes, oh yes. No fiery Winax, one time. Just one time. Damn, he had it. 
Why not shoot? That's supposed to be the auto win opening. And we didn't auto win. Now let's say about that. Brutal. Rip. Oh shit. Oops. Get my power to go. There we go. Alright, let's hope he doesn't have the other one. <laughs> I don't know what else to say other than let's hope he doesn't have the other one. I can mark a Visage. Visage. <laughs> I can mark a Visage. So I can get through that. Doesn't feel very nice, but it can be done. Yeah, I'm execute. All right. Well, shoot! Shoot! Alright, well, with all the taunts coming out, I'm pretty sure I lose this one. Alright, man. It's brutal. Brutal! Start eyeballing some of these other decks. I mean, I should give this midrange hunter a scoot. I, I did try, I brought a midrange hunter to the tourney, and I got smickety smacked around and then made fun of for it. <laughs> so, I'm a little gun shy on a hunter right now, to be completely honest. But, there's a reason I brought it, and it seems good. I think it's good. I just, I don't know. So, maybe we'll give this hero list a try. This one seems to be pulling just as well as the other decks we were trying. And those actually had some good streaks in them, so. Perhaps, perhaps. Ugh. Not even ready. How rude. Alright. Let's think about how to do this here. I mean, we're very close to still winning. It is kind of amazing how good this deck is, even when it like, either when it whiffs or like they they play a really strong counter to it. Okay, I guess that's the reason I shouldn't do it like that. Yeah, that's my bad for not playing around soup with the fishes. Ah, darn, so close, man. We have gotten this a little bit sooner, perhaps. Shoot! The living mana can still get us out of this. The menagerie is for we just, like, need Mark of the Lotus with it so they don't all die. Wait, what I need. Oh boy. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. I feel like old school warrior. That pass. <laughs> Let the pain speak to me. <laughs> Soul for us. That was not helpful. For the wild. For the wild. 
Yeah, alright. I mean, I'm just gonna concede if he plays a taunt. I don't think there's any way out of this one. Well, I guess even with that, it doesn't even have to be a taunt. He's just near lethal. Hmm. Let's give that mid-range hunter a try, man. I'm not feeling this, man. Uh, let me let me go back to my mid-range roots, but my soul is calling me to to the uh, the control. But I just I don't know. Is it really time? Have we finally reached? Have we finally reached the meadow where it can actually do control and it can be fine? I want to believe, but I've wanted to believe before. <laughs> ah, the fiery bats. Where's my dire wolf? Only one on me. Um, less style? Let's do more. What am I missing here? The slot I missed. Alley Cat. Wonder Cat. Da 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 da. Have the bow in there. Ah, festive wolf. Let's go here. That's good. I like festive wolf. Huh? I always thought that card was really good. Let's give her a roll. See how she feels. See how she feels. I thought this uh, Hungry Crab is very helpful for Curve. I don't, I haven't seen a lot of pirates, but I have seen the water. I've seen the water around, not just in my deck either. <laughs> so, I think having a single Hungry Crab is an interesting attack choice. And it's so good when you actually get it. Plus two, plus two is pretty, pretty nuts. Three, four is a little insane. I think this card would be much more um, like a non-gimmicky sort of tech choice. Because Hungry Crab's never really that great. <laughs> and it's only when it's like there's insane like water packages everywhere. Um, but I think this would be better if this was like a 1-3 and then a plus 1 plus 1. So it's a less like costly thing when you're not against Murlocs. So the like, how to phrase it, like the cost of risking it is a lot less because a 1-3 is far greater than a 1-2. It's still only a 1-3, but um, the success case is less wild, too. It's less of a buff. Instead of plus two, plus two, and getting a three, four, you get a two, four. Which I still think would be pretty devastating. You destroy one of their Murlocs and have a two, four for one mana. That's pretty good. Go ahead and start getting things rolling. Get rid of the only one that doesn't have text. Next turn, we'll throw down Z Campagna. That's fine. To my side. To my
Honestly, I'm more interested in just beating it. I think it's worth it. It feels very weird to do it like that. But getting Heidi out of control is my priority. More so than anything else. The green animal companion here. Good. Go over this. Trying to correct for that sort of weird play a little bit here. Oddly enough, I don't think we miss damage doing it that way. It just feels very strange. Yeah. Whatever. When his consecration feels that, like, whatever, that's pretty good for us. Alright, what's our adaptation? One tier is not bad. Plus three is okay. Honestly, I'd rather have Wind Fury. So I think we're gonna push Lethal here. I already attacked. With the kill commands in the deck, in Savannah, I mean, next turn, I'm feeling pretty good about just going face and calling it. And he already used one Consecration, so it's gonna be hard for him to deal with this board. Is possible. Yeah, I respect that, I respect that. Fortunately, he doesn't have any zero mana cards. Does he? <laughs> Is he gonna play another Forbidden Healing to not heal and just trigger it? Wow, I love that! What a cool play! Oh, I love that! That's so cute! What a good play! What a good play! Someone give that man an extra shot at the game. He's on his chance! Alright, this is getting a little out of control. Not enough of this time and chance shit. Go ahead and do it like this. Alright, now that he doesn't have a consecration and he pulled all of the pyromancer shenanigans that he could have this is again going to be hard for him to deal with destroy this while we're hanging out here Oh wow, it's a lot of damage, at least 6 mana, okay, it's a lot of damage to face though, I'm, I'm in plan, take it, oh dear, I mean, it's arguable that I should have traded Savannah there, because then the two hyenas get charge, and this gets a plus two plus one buff. And silence that one. Such interesting choices. How interesting. I'm gonna do it like this. Because this way hanging goes off the goddamn chain. And thus we have enough damage. Well played! Very nice, very nice. And I honestly didn't even need the hungry crab there. Not bad, not bad. I'll take it! I'll take it! <laughs> Not need the hunger crab. Interesting. Could be no drop the hungry crab at some point. Let's see. Rexa versus Leandrin. My hand. 
It isn't bad having another one drop though. It helps the consistency of the really like powerful start to make sure that we don't get out aggroed. There's Hungry Crab, but we're against a Paladin. Yeah, Sally Cat, off the top, save the day. And we can always follow up with Hungry Crab if there's a Murloc opening. Well, that's an interesting start. A strange start. Is this a more control paladin? It must be. It must be a controlling man. Controlling. Which means this hungry crab is going to be goddamn useless. Which is rather unfortunate for me. Wow, this blows. <laughs> All right, well. Hmm. I guess we just tap pass. Like, he's gonna heal it anyway, but might as well tap for posterity's sake. In case he loses his mind and doesn't. This is pretty brutal. Oh! Yeah, okay. I mean, this isn't like insanely great or anything, but I'll take it at this point. Give me a little bit of control of the bard. Yes, it again. Yes, again, some control of the bard. What did a man ask for ever more than control of the bard? Certainly not I. There's a wee bit of bird control. It's all one should ever ask. Go ahead and just play that bear, because I don't really need the taunt. Just look at the stats and maybe I can crack my things in a bit. Yeah, totally. Totally control man. It's the control man! Alright, let's see if we can get something going on here. Come on. That is a deal. I will take. And throw up the top. Like that one. Force him to go there. Get some unleash value next turn. Oh, that hurts. Well, that was gonna hurt no matter what, though. Eureka, indeed. Hey, scar off the top. We're still in this. We're still in this. Oh, blah, 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 rules. Blah, 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 rules. Might as well control the board. Blah, 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 rules. Blah, 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 blah. Come now. I think we have enough damage to push a win here. Put your faith in the light. That is the one case where we might change. 
I still think we're okay. Oh dear. Oh dear. This is plus one. Alright, that's not that bad. <laughs> I don't know why I thought- Oh, I'm so used to playing with Flame Tongue, that's what it is. Alright. Fair enough. I still probably would have done it that way. Hmm. Because I wouldn't have thought he would have had another one. Shoot! Shoot her! Shoot her in the face! Oh boy. Starting off with the Doom's there, huh? Oh, there's not much I can do about this turn. Oh, well, I, do, I can do that. Really? Eye for an eye. Alright. I'm okay with that. Unleash Kill Command does win us the game. Oh no! Not the Light Lord! Lead Lord, no! Not the Light Lord! Oh my god. The Light Lord. I mean, that's funny. <laughs> ah! Brutal. Alright. I'm gonna call it. He's got way too many cards. Too many cards in hand. Alright. Alright! That's all we need. That's all we need to see. I don't know what to do. I actually don't see it on this list here. But this is where the human judgment comes in. Whether or not it's on that list. Whether or not it's on that list. It's just a guide. You gotta remember to use your human judgment. And I believe this is the deck that slaughters the controlling men. Pretty sure this is how I want it, too. Oh, bloody mage. That's the only one I'm not really sure of. Pretty much just swiping wrath, right? Let's give her a go. Let's see how she feels. It's time for the big Jade Man. Yes! <laughs> big strong Jade figures. Thought our green men were big. Just wait. Just you wait. Okay, against mage. Feeling okay about this. Gonna throw that back. This is okay to keep, I think. That's good too. Don't really, don't really want the wrath. Don't really want it. Happy with the Dark Reaper on turn two. I think that'll stop whatever early aggression's coming out of good old Tony Carther here. My greetings. Here with the. That. There's something to trigger that. I don't remember what it is. Wild growth off the top on turn two. That's how we do it. That's how it's done. Oh, it's a secret man. Ah, yes. A man of many secrets. Oh, yes. Okay. And then we'll do like this, and like that. It's fine, I'm that. 
Slow it all down. Everybody slow down, Tower Creepers for all. Let's take a deep breath on all sides. It's fine. I think mean, it's getting a little tough, but it's, it's fine. Hmm, do I nourish? Am I that confident? I think I am. I do believe so! So I got Jade Behemoth to follow it up. There's also Aya. Aya seems a little weak though. Excuse me, you are on fire. Yeah, that's fine. Down the behemoth. I'd rather have him get behemoth than get to uh, Aya, so. Okay. Yeah, he's a secret man, alright. Secret, secret! He plays the secrets! Alright, good to slow him down, alright. Slow him on down, that's right. Trying to think here. I think I found this for extra spell damage, and then swipe after earthen scaling. Okay, that's good. I think mean, it kind of sucks that he gets a card draw on it. But... All right, very well. Very well! It also means I can't really like just go crazy with gadgets in right off the bat, but... You know, whatever. Not so broke up about that. I'm gonna take my time. Get, or perhaps I can! Perhaps I do not know my own strength. I don't even need to draw the card here. Because I've got Gadgets in doing his thing. With Auctioneer rolling like that, we should be good. He might be able to answer Aya, but... Just bumping the Jade counter like that feels worth it. I just do it like this. I think we calm down though. Clear. You die now. Okay, that's on the strike. Next marks the spot. And... Oh, 
How to set this for the Drake properly? I mean, I can always just tap to finish that off. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do it like that. Seems fine. Our jade counters at 5-5 five, five now, so all these jades going forward are going to be super hard for a mage to deal with. Yeah, that's fine. What's the four mana, man? Oh! That's too bad. That's, that's rather unfortunate for him. to draw those, a super word. Alright. And I do believe we've done it! My George, I do believe we've done it. That can be any secret. Yes! Squeeze the value out of them. You think you're gonna control the board? Oh, you cannot control my board. My board is the uncontrollable infinite scaling green power. It's as green as my chroma key. It's so green. <laughs> The screen behind me is not anywhere near as green as the power of the field of the deck. The bard is as green as... Alright, we're done. <laughs> we're done. So it's green. Green is our thing. That's our thing. It's, it's so green that most of my deck list is translucent. Because I chroma key out the green. <laughs> what if I was trying to play quest, man? That wouldn't be fair. That would be like so unfair. Alright, we're fine. Done, done. Tap it. Tipsy tap tap. I'm okay with that. Tipsy tap tap. I'm okay with that. I'm gonna do it like that. Get some free damage in, that's fine. Fine, just fine. Go and Jade Blossom next turn. I'm not worried about that. Okay, I mean, that's, that's pretty irritating. I could have pumped them up. Would have been an interesting line. Putting on a little bit there. I mean, Spellbender is still possible.
Let me call on you now. It's fine, I'm just fine. Take your time. Take your time. Take a 4 eight. Don't care. You can have it. It's for you. Thank you, my friend. My thanks to you. My thanks to you. Shiny. It's fine. Absolutely fine. He's gonna get some coin value here. You will. But alas, this is how it must be. For the wild. For I shall get my value yet. Excuse me, you it's actually not really that much value out of doing it like this, so I, I probably could have just nourished there instead. Said now I'm actually on the bubble. So might not have been the best choice. Receive the tap deck. What do we get? That's good for us, but okay. That's so many coins in hand and nothing to use them on. There we go. We're gonna have so many coins, we're gonna like mill him with his own fucking coins. This is so ridiculous. Do I save these for gadgets then? Auctioneer? For the I think I have to hope. I have to hope I get Auctioneer off the top. isn't if he has the mana to play it. The question is if he has it. In fact, in the off chance he has it here, I'm just gonna preemptively start the saxophone music. <laughs> Actually, we're gonna know his next card, which is pretty gosh darn silly. Well, there you are. You you would have come in handy earlier. 
Well, that's only now. Here you are. But, well, you know. That's how she goes. I think I do this just to fish for a jade idol. Yeah, nice. Alright, well, let's see. <laughs> we didn't know him. And I mean, isn't that the moral victory we were going for anyway? Yeah, I think we're done. Oh, you played that so fast. Uh -huh. Do! Do 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 Oh, <laughs> he's just empty in his hand. I thought we were actually dead. Okay, I guess we're still going. <laughs> well, now don't I feel silly? I mean, do I really need to draw two cards a turn? I think that's less of the problem we're having. Or two cards per spell. Whatever. Fuck it. Let's go. I mean, it's possible he just doesn't have burn. Or like he does and just won't draw it. I'm trying to think of what sets me up for lethal next turn. If there's even a way. I can't assume he doesn't run Polymorph, so I have to kill it even if I play this. So do I even play this? I think so. With swipe, that is lethal. Okay, darn. <laughs> I mean, he had to draw his burn eventually. It had to be there eventually. Ah, well. Close. Close. Surprisingly close. Oh, well. I like the feel of this one, though. I'm feeling this deck a little bit more. Something in my bones is like, mm, Jade time. What about them Jade, though? What about them Jades? Malfurion versus Anduin. The light shall bring victory. I must protect the wild. I must protect the wild. This will be a lot easier, I must say. If we were playing on like the last two days of the month. Now I'm making excuses. So I think we can still totally do this. And we're not that far off from the last two days of the month, but still. It would be slightly easier. I wonder if that's right against priests. Because that might just feed girl. Is someone 
Yeah. Okay. Against priests, I don't think I'm supposed to play it like this. If he wants to heal again, he's gonna go on down diddly the middle himself. Down diddly do the middle. That seems like an odd choice. Spend that for two damage to my face. That seems incorrect. Seems incorrect. 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 How do we do this? I think we just tap to get rid of the girl. And then it's like, if we're already doing this, we might as well just throw these into the deck. And honestly, I don't mind grabbing random jade idols off the top because I do have a nourish for extra cards and I do have like some jade tokenage going on like right here the last jade I'll summon from these guys is a 5-5 five five already so any of these is like a 1 mana 6-6 six six or better so I'm not too worried about that do you know the meta? yes he does indeed he does Enkar, Enkar, knows the meta, good for you, I played, uh oh, Not that one. Go ahead and just play this. I think this is a fine play. Ah, oh, that's a fine play if I ever did see him on. Hmm, something about that's pleasurable. I don't know what that is. It's like when you stunlock somebody. And they just can't move, even though they really want to. They're just trying to get out of it. Something about that, man. You could swipe here. I mean, who knows what he shadow vision into? I guess I swipe here. For the wild. Just like clear this out. Enough of this garbage nonsense. Let's play our game, you know? Let's clear this board out, get rid of all this crazy spell synergy. Show me what you got on turn six. I'll show you Aya. And we'll see who's better. Okay. Hold me for the dragon synergy. Okay. Fine, funnel cake for everyone, I would never deny someone a hearty bounty of funnel cake. I will do it like this. Taking some face damage, but I don't think priest is about I don't think this priest is about getting my face. Just seeing Shadow Visions isn't enough to think he runs the combo of a uh, divine spirit in your fire. Tracking over to the P is kind of painful though.
Face. Ouch. All right. Well, good on him. Takes some guts to do that. It's a good play. Bell Rage. Nice. That's the one I was looking for. Give me nice and talented up on that. And just to make sure there's no funny stuff. I mean, Dragonfire Potion Soul is pretty funny. Some, some pretty funny stuff going on. But, uh, yeah. I, I guess I could have played around that slightly. I could have played around that at all. But, you know. Oh, let's just refuel here really quick. Alright. And let's get a big man. Ah, uh, feels good. I'll oh, do that. You don't want to earthen scales it? Nah. Let's save that for gadgets then. Just get a little feral rage shield. Just to make sure I'm nice and safe here. Don't want to be at any risk here. Might as well drop the mana while I got it. Yeah, so we're going to make these scales that long. Is someone injured? Hmm. I'll play with this. So I think I found this. I've also got the tap of the hero power. Two, four, yeah, we can make this work. Good. Jade begin with next turn. Get ourselves an 8 8 on the board. I think so. I like how this water sounds different from their other water. It feels more polluted. It's like a more. Yeah, it's a more like. Resistant, like you're kind of punching through the water. Makes it feel kind of thicker. Jerk. What a jerk! Oh no. Don't tell me she's gonna live! She still won't live even with that, but not even tentacles can save you now! Okay, good. Well, golly geez Louise, that was so scary! She almost made it! That would have been bad. How do I want? How shall I destroy you? I think I'll save this for Fandral value. Now let's do this first. Let's not be silly. Now let's not be silly. Let's see if we draw Jade Idol. Oh, okay. Wild Growth is pretty good with gadgets in. I'm gonna do that next turn. Oh, 
Ooh, so is that. Alright, let's draw the whole deck. 18, 18. Oh my god! And we drew Wild Griff. Alright. Well, let's keep things moving. Go until we get those, that damn dare jail battles. Okay, we'll do it like this. Oh! Oh my god. I couldn't tell if my turn was done. <laughs> not trying to BM. Literally could not tell if my turn was done. <laughs> Alright. Alright, that's pretty good. That was a pretty good turn for us. The fact that he's still able to deal with it is a testament to how insanely good this setup was for Priest. I'm almost out of cards. I'd better play a Jade Idol and never be out of cards. I mean, fuck it, right? Why not? I'm, out of cards. I'm never out of cards. <laughs> oh, God, this is so dumb. I mean, alright. Let's just, why not? Let's just do this. We know how this game works. I'm almost out of cards. I'm almost out of cards. No, let me play it! Yes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there you go. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do with J. Druid? Reaches infinity. <laughs> oh, I must say that does that does feel nice. Take that priest. That feels real nice. <laughs> Alright. Let us see if we can withstand the Agarissimo. I will keep a Jade Spirit. Perhaps a little cocky, but looks like it worked out for us, so. Never punch? I'll take it. But yeah, let's see. Maybe, perhaps it's Quest Warrior. We shall see. If it's Quest Warrior, I'm actually I'm intrigued to see who wins that one. I think once my as, we, as insane as this is to say once my jades like get beyond eight eight. I think we win. But it's quite the trek to get there. Looks like it is Quest Warrior. Since he held that first card. My greetings. It's quite the trek to get there, but he's certainly not going to do anything to stop me. So we'll see. We shall see! Yeah. How are we doing on frames, by the way? Oh, we're doing much better. I'm glad we restarted. Much better. Five and a half hours in, not too shabby. We got we got kind of into the bumpy road here once we hit about rank nine, but uh, we're still cruising. Progress continues. A steady march of progress. Ah, greetings. My greetings. Arr. Arr. <laughs> oh, the jades. Gotta love jade, man. I 
<laughs> Alright, we got a slow roller. That's okay. Hopefully he's hanging out sniping us. That'd be fun. I really don't know what I'm going to do next turn. If he plays something, I'd probably react to it. But what is, what is Taunt Warrior going to play on two mana? You know? I'll probably just tap. Let's say top deck something. Uh, well, okay, I guess he does play Armor Smith. We could wrap it. It feels kind of like a waste of wrath, though. I'd rather coin out like Tar Creeper. I will do that. I'm going to put this in, just in case he hides her behind a taunt. That way I can still wrap it next turn. I guess I also could have just done Feral Rage. This doesn't feel super great. Anyway, I slice it. This, this feels kind of weird, but I think this means that next turn we can play Fandral and then just let Fandral chill behind the Tark Reaper, and then we can Feral Rage on turn 5 to get some value there. I mean, that kind of sucks, but yeah. again, it's mostly about being able to get Fandral out of here. Now what would be really, really sick, really dope, really boss, is if we just ripped right off the top, if we just took that Nourish, right there, just right off the top of the deck, right there, let's give it the rub, give it the rub, we'll give it the winks, the wink and rub, okay, okay, here we go, oh, wow, I'm good, darn. Darn, darn, darn. Well, I think we definitely play this. For the wild. I'll do that. Means we can tap Jade Spirit next turn. Or we can just Jade Behemoth if our heart so desires. In such a case as this. That's fine. I'm not too broke up about that. I got my jades rolling here. That's what I care most about. Save these for the card draw. I guess I will just trade here. Again, like, whatever, it seems fine. 
We're all sitting pretty at tons of health, so. No rush for anything here. Just trying to get that counter tick, tick, ticking up. Probably Jade Spear, Jade Blossom next turn. Because Jade Blossom never gives me a coin. And if it gives me a no coin, I have no coin. Oh, wow. Really? Really? Wow. Is that, is that favor that? Is that matchup that in our favor? I didn't realize that matchup was that in our favor. Wow. Well, GG. Alright. I'll take it. I don't know what that hand looked like. But apparently it didn't look good. <laughs> oh, man. Alright. Not the same guy. Okay. Keep them a wild growth. Easy, easy. Hey, idle in the wild. In the jade. Pretty good. Pretty good opening. We'll just go ahead and put our deck face up here for him. Let him know what we're all about. As will he. Very, very gentlemanly swat we've got here. Quite the gentlemanly competition we have today. Yes. So we will go ahead and drop this guy down. Not too afraid of the Tar Creeper. If I get a good chance to trade, I might. I'm in no rush. If he does it like that, and he sets him all to one health, that'd be sick. Because then I have no reason not to go in with him. Well, I'm inclined to do this, but I can I guess I can innervate out Jade Spirit. For the wild. Question is do I want to innervate it out? I actually don't think I do. What's he gonna play on four mana? What are the four mana taunts for warrior that I'm afraid of? Oh, anything of crazy. 3-3? Maybe. There are some, but I don't think Tom Warrior really runs any of them. And I can always tap. So, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, that's more of a turn I'm expecting. Alright, very well. Don't be making up just off the top. That'd be nice. Nice little fuel for us. Oh, let's do that. Oh, no, it's not bad. I'll take it. Do we really get another nurse? Sick. It's pretty dope. What to do next turn? I feel like Jade Behemoth is good. I'm gonna grab this big play by him. Swipe would be nice. 
Not necessarily required, but it just would be nice. Earth and scales, not bad. Not bad. I'll take that one. Now that is a deal. Oh, we will take. And again, I wouldn't mind drawing some more Jade Idols here. It would be nice to have my gadgets in first, but since they're already at 5-5, five, five, I think it's worth throwing them back in now just to draw them. There they are. Speak through the devil. Especially since I've got the second nourish, you know. I'll just go wild here. Runner fade out tap. I guess I can. It feels kind of funky though. Yeah, mm. clears this whole board. No I don't know, man. Hmm. That feels so weird. My computer was like, no, no, no three damage. <laughs> Whatever. Hopefully that three armor slash health doesn't come into play later. Usually they don't run shield slam, so probably won't. There's our gadgets in. Our gadgets in. Our gadget man. And we're gonna throw this guy down. Just to distract him. Because next turn I want to gadgets in Fandral, Innervate, Jade Idol, and then just go off. I think even if I only draw the two, that will give me enough. Ooh! Ouch. Could give me enough uh, fuel to do. Oh, that's dirty. Dirty! Dirty, dirty. I'll taunt him with this golden one. Because hopefully that makes him be like, oh my god, I've got to deal with that immediately. Job done. <laughs> so much jade, yeah, sack. Yes, good, good. Not even the mightiest of brawls can stop me. Yes, good. I am the Eye of Blackpaw that summons a 7 7 and an 8 8. No! <laughs> oh, this feels pretty nice. This feels pretty nice. These games are slower, but I gotta say, I gotta say, we're just. Squeezing the value out of them. We're taking them, but it's squeezing that value out of their souls. That's no, fine, it's fine. Show me what you got. Alright. 
I did say I was prepared for this. I did say bring it on. Well, he's bringing it. I will give him that. I think I'm just going to gain the armor here. Could have saved it for a little fuel with the gadgets in, but I think I'm going to get gadgets in Wrath. And hopefully, I have a feeling I'm going to draw some Jade Idols in the next two draws, so who knows if I'm correct about that, but we shall see. Does remain to be seen. But I've got a feeling. And for some reason, I think I'm not high on believing. To my face! To my face! A lot. Not this time. Alright, let it begin. Oh, oh that's pretty nice. That's some nasty shit. Alright, very well! Let it begin. Let's see what he's got. Oh no, he's got another one. Shoot, that's bad for us. There's a couple scenarios that work out poorly for us. This was not one of them. You can't roll a lot every time. I believe me, I know that feel. You can't roll them every time. See him take it to the face here? What a man. What a man, what a man, what a man, what a man. Ooh. Oh, that's dirty. Dirty. All right, man, man. <laughs> Let's see how you deal with that. I mean, when being Ragnaros doesn't take out one of the minions on the board. Right. What else you got? That was the best one for him. If he had Execute, that was the best one for him. Well, he's bringing us to our limits. I will give him that. He is pushing us, man. He's got quite the fuel himself, but I just don't know that it is enough. That's good. Good top deck. Not sure if 5 mana 6 9 is enough. <laughs> 5 mana 6 9 taunt might be too slow. <laughs> good god. Oh, what's, what world do I live in? Let's go ahead and sack this. Well played. There's the win streak! <laughs> We're back! <laughs> hey, there's our rank 8. The elusive rank 8 of the Frost Wolf Crunch. Yes. Oh, it's good to be here. Hug us a little bit, but we made it. Oh man. <laughs> Malfurious versus Garrosh. Victory or death. I must protect the wild. Alright. Keep the Jade Blossom. We're gonna have a okay start. Not the best, not the worst. Just okay. Here's his quest. Incident Mulligan, I'm presuming he's a quest man. 
He's a man on a mission. There it is. Alright. Go ahead and save that interdict. I already got the Gijidzian in hand, so save the interdict for a little magic later on. Well, that's fine. That right there, that's fine. I'm just fine. We're just here to be on curve, don't mind us. Just uh, bringing some jade into your life. Oh, Tarkir, that's a pretty good card. I played that one myself. I think I'm going to tap into that. As weird as this looks, I think this is the right play. Because both of us are at infinite health until shit gets real. Like last game. So I think I'm just going to put the one damage on to him. I think this was right. It feels very strange to me. Feels so wrong. Yeah, it's so the right play. I just know it. <laughs> That's why we made swipe. We could also just send the Jade in there and save swipe, actually. Could also swipe in the hero power and get rid of that guy. Effectively infinite health. Save the earth and scales. Save for the gadgets in. Auctioneer always loves getting big. What's the at quest wise? Three? Yeah. I mean, that sucks, but you know, whatever. It is what it is. Oh. Oh, how intriguing. I think we're gonna leave it at that. Uh, maybe we'll draw. This is kind of risky to draw by just dropping an interview here, but. Nice. Rewarded! Always rewarded! Woo! That's what I'm talking about, baby. Very right. well! And if you can't clear it, we can play the other one and get the double draw value. Oh, oh, think of the value. The best part about this is it truly is value. Because it's not tempo. We're not going through our deck quickly. We have infinite deck with Jade Idol. So, feels good. It feels really good. Really does feel nice. Hmm. How do I deal two damage? I mean, you could have sleep with the fishes. It's entirely possible. Or just another world in fact. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine, just fine. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, I think we'll go ahead and keep our jades moving. 
I will just go ahead and deal with that. I kind of want to save that for fuel, but at the same time, it's like, let me just deal with that so these guys can deal with the board so Gadget Zone can come down and start making me all the offers, all the best deals. The best deals around, you hear? Here, she? Here. Well, I know how to deal with that. That looks like that's all you got, my friend. Four out of seven. Takes a while, man. Takes a while. What are we looking for? Jade Idol, Earthen Scales, oddly enough, the other wild growth. Wrath! Wrath would be really good, too. Oh, there we go. What can I say? No, oh, dirty. You thought we had fuel before. You know. Oh, you thought we had fuel before. Oh, Fandral Value coming to town. I did. Jesus, should I save all of this for Fandral? I don't think I can. I think that's way insanely greedy. We just do it like this. No rush. Not with the behemoth behind us. Yeah, that's fine. It's almost guaranteed to be like a good goal for us, because even if this happens, it's like our jade triggers, so. Yeah, it's like, get a super rare brawl for yourself, but at the end of the day, what did you really do? Ugh, I don't want that value. I want I like you and I want you. So we gain two, so that means this costs three. So we can do that as well. So tempted to do that. I don't think I need to go that wild with it though. Do I? I think this is more important to get value off of, but at the same time, I don't know that I can. I'm just doing this. Jade, man. It's a lot of jade. And I got more jade coming. There's just more coming. Seems like by the time he's able to get that Ragnaros Hero Power, we're going to be above 88. And that's honestly, that's really nice. It wasn't guaranteed to always work out that way. Like, yeah. By the time... If he got to 8 before, he could totally suppress us and push the last damage through, and I wouldn't be able to treat it like an infinite health matchup. But alas, here we go. Power of the J overwhelming, yeah, and squeeze them out. Yes! Ah. Oh. 
<laughs> hey, Merlo. <laughs> oh, I mean, you do match up against Murloc occasionally when you get the special, like, hero portrait for Shaman. Yeah, nature. Preservation of nature. Go ahead and keep the Tar Creeper, because I'm not sure if he's an aggro token druid. I think we get perfect curve every time, so. Yeah. We get insane curve every time, so you know. Not like I'm worried about that. Go ahead and spend the coin to get a coin every turn. Sounds good. And now it's time to just curve out a little bit. Hit our Jade Spirit next turn. Throw down a wrath. If he swipes this, I'm okay with that. Oh, that's nice. This is a lot of anti value for him. So it doesn't do anything against us. That's really good for us. Wow. And I do not think I'm making too big a deal out of that. That is insanely good for us. Wow, 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 wow. I'm just going to take my time here. No need to rush. We got the bard in our favor. The bard is not a favor. Favor. He's thinking the same thing I am, but it's a little bit behind, yeah. Can found us for some value. Looks pretty good. I shall. Do it like this. Not bad. Do it like that. Not bad. The jade counter is a little bit ahead of ours. But not for want of jade. He's just dropping a little bit quicker. And the fact that we have better board control despite that is great. Oh, okay. This is where we actually get in trouble a little bit. Wow, yeah, that's bad. I mean, luckily we have the answer. He asked this question, and luckily we have the answer, but... It could have been much worse. Look at that curve, baby. Gow just all oh, this is just some nice gadgets and fuel for our side. Thought his single innervate was good. Innervate swipe. What about innervate innervate? Now you're thinking of portals. Now y'all thinking of portals. Oh, another J Doll seems for you. I don't want to treat this one like an infinite health matchup, I don't think. So I'm not going to swing recklessly here. We've evened up the J counter and still have an edge on board. It's just he has the first move advantage here. We've got J, man. If we can get our gadgets in down, we have quite the turn. If we can get Fandral too, that would be pretty sick. Fandral off the top would be nuts. Okay, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Is he pushing face damage here? He's trying to trade. Trying to trade. Okay.
Start by drawing. I think I drew Feral Rage, right? Yeah, nice. Nice, that's pretty good. Go ahead and drop it like it's hot. It's not a jig counters on our side. He's got a little bit of cards, both in deck and in hand, kind of value on us. Like in uh, resources, but. Is he at 10? No, okay. I say wait for I think I do innervate out another one to threaten lethal here. And like, I don't think there's a way for Druid to deal with this many Jades simultaneously on the board. I will be impressed if he has a way. We're not up against Warrior, so there's no Brawl to worry about. Okay. Star? Okay, Rob. It's a good start for him. What else you got? Okay, that's not bad, but you're dead, so what are you doing about that? You're doing about the whole dead thing. Tongue Giver? Sun Fury? Okay, armor. Double armor, okay. Fair enough. That's pretty good. How short are we? He's at 32. Well, I think we're going to value trade no matter what here, so... What to do? Hmm. damage on the board you're at 19 health and you have a ton of jade idols in you a shit ton of jade idols in your deck while well, you draw your whole deck all right show it to me show me what you got just filling the board though isn't gonna be enough for him he's got to deal with it oh shape shift yeah without an innervate he was done Good. We got the value in the early game, and then we overtook him on Jade Tempo, and then the Jade Tempo carried us. I think the Jade Tempo is most important, and he was ahead of us for a significant chunk of the game on Jade Tempo. It's just that we had board control, so we could let him get a little bit ahead and continue to out-trade him slightly. And then just like slam down RJ to catch up with them. Luckily, he we didn't like not have it in hand. It wasn't something like that, so we were able to just slam it down and catch back up. I'm gonna save this for girl. Is it that cleric's in there? One deal with her. Now we'll throw out the Jade Idol on turn one to bait it. Even if he doesn't play for a long term. It's only if he does play when you get that I don't. I don't J I don't. Ooh, 
just do that. It's fine. Seems fine, just fine. That's always good. Love that weapon destruction, baby. Can't tech against me. I'm the gingerbread deck. <laughs> Is that our phrase now? We're the gingerbread deck? I like that one. That's a pretty good one. Can't tech against me. I'm just a broke ass dick. So good. So good. Ah, Survivor. Survivor. I'm gonna do that. Go ahead and drop down to the Survivor. Question is if I can get the Jade Spirit going, but I don't think so. I think I just leave him be. Because he has to heal, like, right now to trade into that. Yeah, and then I can just send this trade in. Oh, uh, okay. We'll play. We'll play. We'll give him that one. I think I want to save it all for gadgets in, so let's pass. Oops, missed the tap, whatever. One HP. If one HP matters. I'll feel bad. I wasn't going to swing with it or anything, so. Not too broke up about it. You remember, he has exact lethal. We have to assume it's our fault that we lost. And that we wouldn't have lost if we, if we weren't so bad that it was our fault. <laughs> Alright, behold the glory of a new sun. 3 7. Oh my god, he's not even buffing her. Only because he's so sure she's gonna survive. And he is not wrong about that. She is going to survive. It's pretty brutal. Jesus, she's like the only thing comparable to what I got going on here. Man, and we don't have our gadgets in. This fucking sucks. Oh boy, alright, well, let's do what we can here. Try and clear the way. Throw down Fandril, but like, why? Why would we do that? Just uh, bait out some trades? Like, they're gonna trade anyway. Swipe that we really need. And if we hang on to Fandral, Wrath 2 can work. Hmm. Jesus. Jesus, alright. Your crumble of spells. Here they come! Oh no! The Shadow Visions too! Okay, alright, here we go. Hopefully... Hopefully it's a bunch of garbage. Hopefully it's like silence, 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 silence. <laughs> alright. Alright, that's bad! This is bad! Remember when they said sorry if we made this card too good and everyone laughed and laughed? Shit. I'm not laughing no more. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Boy, oh boy, I wish I had gadgets in Auctioneer. That would be quite helpful. That is shocking. I mean, I guess it's just because it's a hardy at like nine cards anyway. Yeah, I mean, why not? I mean, there's a wrath. 
I don't know, man. Just pray? I guess we're hoping for a survival. That's not what we were hoping for. Hoping for survival. We are hoping for survival. That's not gonna do it. Oh, I got a feeling that's not gonna do it. Alright, well, GG. God, so much value. Well, alright, sometimes they get us and they... They get a Lyra behind a wall. They get a Lyra behind a giant Mastodon. You know? Hand up our Drake. Alright, ain't, ain't nothing to be done here. I can see. Alright, the win streak is broken. <laughs> to be fair, that's like the only thing that does that to us. This is how it feels to be on the receiving end of me. And she is the only card in the game that can match us. Keep that wild growth. Huh? Our creeper and wrath to follow it up, so we got some flexibility. We're up against mage. Mage can burst through us, so. Ha 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 the best encouragement. Mage. Soak two mana from him. <laughs> With love. <laughs> Alright. Crystals fresh from Kazakus, you say. That's so intimidated by that. Nice. Good. Do I wrap for the card or tap for the value? Hmm. Since I have a good way to wrap already by sending the 2-2 two -two into the 2-3 and then wrapping, I think I save wrath and go for value right now. Okay, that's fine. Soak the fireball. Soak the fireball! Shall take it. 
Should think of and say, this is glorious! <laughs> I am glorious! <laughs> Alright, we do like that, and like this, and heal on up. Wow, that's the one he got? A courier? Huh. Oh, because it's the multi-class. That's right. Okay. This is from Cabal. That's right. I guess that means you're far more likely to get that. Hmm. Go to Earth and Scales here. I don't get much out of it. Shield wise, and I do think I need some serious shields from the earthen scales. We'll just do this. Yes, keep healing. Healing up on up. Healing, healing. Let's see what he does here. So this is a turn where things can go a lot of different directions. These next like two or three even are. So see what happens here. Once we get past like the next one or two jades though, he's gonna have a lot of trouble starting to deal with us. We we just need some fuel. We're kinda out of fuel. We need to draw nourish. It's really what we're looking for here. Nourish your gadgets in. Preferably nourish the because gadgets and still like one combo one card with them. Like I can put them behind these taunts, but Mage doesn't necessarily care that he's behind taunts, because spells. Alright, what are you gonna do? A spittle? Ace Fidel? Oh, PDC. Well, no mercy. Time runs out on you. So he's back. Nice. For the wild. Oh, I guess he's not right. I see that little hover thing. I don't know what happened to him, man. Alright, well, that's too bad. Hit him with the roll plate. That's too bad. Feel bad for this poor man. See what we're up against next time. <laughs> we're up against dinner. Huh? We know what's for dinner. No save nourish? I kind of think I do, honestly. Especially since I can coin it. I think we're just looking to go. I don't think there's going to be a lot of pressure. I mean, I guess this is a poor keep against Token Druid, and I should still respect that. My greetings. My greetings. Oh, punished. 
Alright. Alright, never punished. <laughs> it looked like I was gonna be punished, but only for a second. Because never punished. Oh, nice. He has a bad start, too. Nice, slow start. So great. So we actually have a competitive start against him. Pretty good. We got double nourish going on here, so we're not at all concerned about fuel. It's just the time to use it. Fruit Ninja. I'm, I'm growing an appreciation for this. What should I... What, what happened here? Okay, that's fine. There's a whole field of responsibility I should be paying attention to here that I'm just... I'm not. I'm not here to lie to you. I'm just not. I'm just not. You got one and landed. So I can't knock the other ones up once one lands. But I can Fruit Ninja one when he gets knocked up. It's pretty fun. You like it. Alright, let's pay attention to the game again. <laughs> I, I'm fascinated by boards when I like learn new things about them. So, I can't help myself. No. So I think it's likely that we're going to innervate next turn. Or excuse me, that we're going to nourish. But if he does that, I want to tap. So do I really want to innervate the... The tap? I wonder if I can drop Tar Creeper. Fortunately, I can't call it that well. Um. Yeah, I will intermute the tap. Because I'm almost certain with the cards I've seen that he's totally token druid. The aggro token druid, so. Sneak in the nourish while I can. And then we can play our defensive cards. Like we can eye a next turn. It was just like a really good value card at this point. We can neglect doing Aya because we gotta deal with that, but we actually have a way. We can earthen scales on it. If he doesn't buff it, which he very well might. But if he only buffs it by plus one, plus one, we can still deal with it. Okay, great. Great. It's rather good for us. Um, no, I think we save the earthen scales for just more armor later down the road. I was thinking about buffing up the Tar Creeper to make it so that these guys can't break it with a single plus one plus one on both of them. But I think we're more about getting some serious value of the armor game. I think, I think we're in it for the armor. Truly happy. Alright. I'll take it. Man, what an unfortunate start you must have. Stuff. That was a tough start for him. 
completely credit to that, because we didn't even do a proper keep against it. We kept a nourish in hand. Like that we should have lost that game, but sometimes hey, live by the RNG, die by the RNG, you know. So, that's how she goes. Beloved Tyrande. Oh, there's Tyrande. So keep. Keep them all! Yeah, had to keep them all. Now, if she plays Naked Girl, I'll coin out Wild Growth and then follow up with Dark Reaper. My greetings. Okay, since she didn't. I'll do that, and then if she plays Naked Girl this turn, I will play Terror Keeper with the coin. With the La Croix. Manage you. I mean, I guess that's a good play here. I respect it. I respect that play. I was not expecting that. Alright. Pretty good. It's a pretty good play. The turn two priest was always looking for? Uh not really. If elemental priests were a thing, this would be great. This would be a great card. So you could start like an early elemental chain for them, but Like, wouldn't you rather have the, like, discount your spell by one mana? So this was a one mana Shadow Visions. And whatever he's picking, like, he could instantly play, probably. Like, he could play a Shadow Word Pain right now on my Tar Creeper. That would suck for me. That would hurt. Hurt my soul a lot. I don't know about him, but... I would be unhappy about that. Hmm... I kind of want to kill this man before he gets any value off of it. So I think I have to do this. It's painful as this feels. But that means he can't Shadow Word paint it. Which I feel like he's likely to have drawn last turn. So I think this is actually alright. Did I tap? What am I accelerating into? I don't think I'm accelerating into anything. I'm just gonna tap. I wouldn't mind playing uh, Jade Blossom next turn, to be honest. And yeah, inefficient, but let's see what my options are. So there you go. That's what he's looking for, I think. Uh oh, it's one of these men. It's one of these duders. I don't have a way to deal with that, do I? Well, I could always nourish. I'll just play this naked. And if he doesn't have pain, we can possibly find a way to deal with that, but... This is going to be tough, even with Fandral surviving this. That, it's a lot of damage coming out. It's like it's helpful. It's like it is helpful. Nothing but ash. Um, how do we deal with this? See how we deal one damage? What? Oh, okay, fire flint <laughs> It's like, since when does priests have that? Oh, okay, it's, it's elemental. It's a basic card. All right, fair enough.
problem is we're on a three turn timer right now. Two turn timer, really. Now that that's happened. Now that the turn has passed, you believe this is how the numbers work. I guess we kind of just gotta hope and pray. You know? I mean, hopefully he doesn't kill us. I pray that we can survive. <laughs> this peon is mad. Mad, mad, mad. Oh, goodness gracious. What a vivacious play. Oh, my goodness. So sick. Alright, I think we just lost. Yep. No play. Well, darn. You got us. I'll give it to him. That mana geo, man. He drew my fire. Couldn't deal with the rest of it. Not bad. Not bad. He broke the win streak. Hello. 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 Alright. What are we at right now? Six and a half hours? Rank 7, not too bad. Definitely gonna go for the rank 5 floor before we stop. So we're not gonna have a full day tomorrow, so we wanna go pretty deep today. Full mulligan, huh? For me, he's pirate. I'm gonna do this. So I don't know what she is, but I think that's okay against both of them. I think it's required against Pirate. I think it's okay against Taunt Warrior. Okay, I'm taking that to mean Taunt Warrior. That Mulligan request. No, he is pirate. Wow. He's just got a terrible start. That poor, poor man. Alright. This is the right course of action for us, then. It's not, it's not great, but, you know, it's fine. And I think we played the Jade, the Jade Idol here for the 4-4. Oh, we have one in the deck, so of course we do. I was thinking that was our last one in the deck. Uh, this is why you must use the Jet Tracker. For anyone who's watching for lessons, deck tracker, my friend. It is your friend. Oh. I was shocked when I see that guy. He was, I think, my. F he might not have been my first legendary, but he was, like, one of my first legendaries. I I'm pretty sure, if not the literal first, he was, like, right up there with them. So I always feel like a little teeny when I see him. It's like, oh, Captain Greenskin. I remember when I tried to make you work in Paladin because you were my legendary. <laughs> oh, wow. Going for it. I think we have one more man already. I think I gotta do it like this. 
just to make sure I can get the double draw off that. Oh man. Oh man. He runs Eater of Secrets? What an interesting choice. I respect that. We expected to uh, suddenly respect this man. But alas, here we are. Dark Reaper, oh, that's helpful. Yes, in Earth and Scales, that's what I'm talking about. That is of which I speak. Um, I'm not gonna greed and try and wrath here. I'm just gonna throw down the Dark Reaper. Call it good. Just call it. There it is. Yes. <laughs> Poor Tiger. That was him trying to get into rank 7 too, I'm almost certain. So. That Paul Paul man. Paul Paul man. Alright, very well. Back down you go. <laughs> Good, we got Jade Idol to open with. Tar Cooper to follow up, not bad. Alright, against Hunter as well. Um, I think we just eat the turn two. I think this is too close to a curve for us. We don't have enough two drops to try and mulligan for that, I don't think. I think it's too risky. I think I'm just going to be grateful for what I got here. Against a Hunter. I want to make sure I can handle things. I have a face here. Okay. Because if he wants value, then he has to take a turn of not swinging into my face. You think I'm happy with that? Yeah, that's fine. And then I can throw this down. Call good. And call the board control. <laughs> I can do this, which is a decent play on mana. Ooh, deadly shot. Man, I haven't seen those deadly shots lately. That was pretty good. They hit me right in the oof. <laughs> now I can probably tap for some value next turn. Uh, well, I mean, it's still value. But he's going to get his value this turn, probably. I'm not talking about what you do with. Mm -hmm. yeah, I love that card. Swipe off the top? Ah, oh, darn. Alright. We actually can't even play that. I mean, I guess we can. We can play it with Fandral. Then he has to trade into Fandral. Which, like, he will, but... We have to call that good enough. So then we can Jade Behemoth next turn, and then question mark Profit until turn 8 with the Primordial Drake. Ooh. Man, double. Double the Ock, man. That one. That one hurts. That one does hurt. So we're getting good trades even into this. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. I mean, we're just gonna keep on chugging, man! Pass. Pass your turn. Ah! Oh! 
Oh, hi, man. Ugh. I'm like actually getting goosebumps right now. Like I feel the shivers on my fucking skin. That was painful. Good God, that hurt. Jesus, man, do I tap? I don't think I can afford to. I think I just have to eat that. Then I die. Does tapping really save me anything? I don't know, man. Jesus. Jesus Louises. I guess we do play this just because on the off chance we get earthen scales, we can earthen scales the drake. And that might keep us alive for slightly longer. I mean, it's entirely possible he just has the burn and we're dead. And this is why I think mid-range hunter is strong right now. So it is hard to deal with. It sticks. It is sticky and thick. And he's not even like behind on cards compared to us. Ah, oh, man. I mean, technically we're not dead. Technically not dead. Yeah, I mean, we're dead though. All right, there it is. All right. All right, easy, easy now. You've had your fun. <laughs> it's not bad. Not too bad. All right, back into it. That's what I like to see. No cute times, baby. Let's keep going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Malfurion versus Malfurion. Malfurion first. Must be preserved. Do I hold Tar Creeper? What not? Oh, yes. I grow a druid. This is a very good start. He did a full moon going out. Oh, let's see what kind of druid he is. My greed. Okay, he's good. good, good, good. Let's see if he has a better start than us. I mean, he already kind of does, but let's see how bad it is. Wild growth? Okay, good. Good, good, good. It's not that bad for us. From here, we have a pretty good curve. So I don't know that he can necessarily match that. But since I assume we're running pretty similar decks, yeah. not too worried about it. <laughs> if he actually matches us, I've got a really good play. We'll see. How similar we are. Jay Beamer, okay. A little different, a little different. I think this is where we we part ways. I'm gonna split into some different territory. Let me swipe. I'm pretty happy with that. Since he's going to have initiative on board right now, double swipe is really good for me. The swipe is a board flipper. Brings me that control right on back. Colors are a girl's 
Oh. The best friend. Ouch. Well, we knew what goals were when we signed up for this, so. It's all right. Awesome, huh? How do we do this one? I mean, I feel like this is actually alright for us. He doesn't have that optimal way to deal with this. And like, again, we have the swipes coming up. So next turn I can swipe Tar Creeper. And again, he is going to have pretty strong board advantage ahead of us going into this. But a swipe, a Tar Creeper, another swipe. Oof. We, we have potential to flip things back around. It's just going to be a little tough. I definitely don't want to pop Aya this turn. And I was thinking about like swiping Aya and it's like, hmm, that doesn't feel very good. Let's not swipe Aya. Let's keep her untriggered as long as possible. Hmm. How to do this? Hmm. hmm. Indeed, Malfurion. I think that's fine. I'm in no rush to trade into that Tar Creeper. I got the best. Okay, that kind of sucks. But I can swipe it, so... We'll see. Maybe that'll be enough to save me. Come on, you've got a mana. You've got a whole mana. That's like five mana. I don't, don't slow hold me. Okay, so he does have the earthen scales. Shit. So that means we need Thalmus or we need a way to break through. Oh, awesome. yeah. hmm. Damn, damn, damn. This is real bad. Holy shit. Holy shit. Because that, if that lives, we're toast. We have become a piece of toast. Hmm. We are wearing new disguise about it. Shit, man. I don't know. I think he just gets to infinite jig next turn. For a little bit. It's pretty tough. Pretty brutal. I just don't know what else to do about it. I don't really think there's much I can do about it. I think I just gotta leave it be. Yeah, that's gonna suck. Armor, 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 armor. No! No! I'm off the top! No! It's drawn him off the top! Oh my god, no! No! This is so bad. Oh no, we're losing it. Well, I feel the grip slipping away, squeezing the value out of me. Now get off me! <laughs> Oh god, where's my blood mage found this when I need him? Fuck man. Blood mage found us! Damn, alright. Uh, 
Alright, okay, I can't get rid of it. We have good news. I have good news, everyone. Good news. It requires I take five of the face, which I'm not very interested in doing. Can try something a little bit different. I'm trying to think here. I really wish there was a way I could swipe and play Aya. That that feels like my way back into the game. But I don't know that I can. I think she's too slow. I just gotta hope that I can make this work. I'm gonna need armor. I'm gonna need some I'm gonna need some armor. That's bad for me. Oh he he won. Oh. Yeah, that's bad for me. <laughs> yeah, Alright. Damn. He got us. Fuck, man. Ah, if only. No. No, my rank seven. No. Arr. Oh, I can't even tell what rank he's at. <laughs> oh, that's not him. He just got off. Oh, whatever. Ah, darn. Darn, 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 darn. Malfurion versus Malfurion. I must protect the one. Nature must be preserved. I think I also need swipe against Open Druid. <laughs> well, I've got it in case I do now. Why, why not be prepared just in case? All right. Let's see what we draw off the top here. Shade out it would be nice, but not required. Maybe it would be an interesting line, but I probably wouldn't play it. There was some way I would know that I would innervate Jade Blossom and then draw the other Jade Blossom next turn. I might, but. There's no way to know that. And it'd be like a 1 out of 26. I'm going to take that on. My greeting. Doesn't have wild grip either, we're alright. Alright, what's the point now? Jade Blossom. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. I'll see his Jade Blossom and all these in the Jade Blossom. See what he's got for turn four. Hmm. Oh, I think it's fun. 
Let him tap. Some early board control from myself here. Not too shabby. Ah, no trade. I can get a good turn next turn. Swipe tap and clear his four old board and maintain all nine. Still be ahead on Jade Counter. Pretty good. Pretty good. Looking quite good. Yes. Ooh, Thomas. Gives them something to ping, though. Hmm. I'd rather take the damage. Keep that in my back pocket here. I don't want him for Wrath or something. In Wrath for two, you know? Might be helpful. You don't get about this one so far. You don't get about this one. That's fine. What was the wrath before? No, I could do four. Do the wrath for two and attack for four. I think I shall. Indeed, I shall. He's catching up on Jade though, so I'm gonna have to nourish him to some good stuff here. I got the best oh, yeah. I'm good. Okay. Make this work. He's getting some good value. Uh, we got both our nourishes, so we're just gonna be slower. Ooh! Oh god, the double innervate hurts so bad. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus! Oh god. Okay. Alright. Alright, and he does earthen scales. Fuck me. Okay. Okay. Pain's over. Pain's over! Alright! We made it! It's okay! We can do this. We can do this. I believe in us. Go us. Um, this is really awkward for our mana. Like, we have to kill that no matter what. But if I use my face, I can play these two instead, which might be a little better than using Earthen Scales. And Earthen Scales can give me even more armor later on. So I think I am going to do that. It's an investment in health now for a return in health later. This just sucks to hold two nourishes like this though. When he's already got so much. Oh my god. Oh my god, come on man. Are you gonna do me like this? How can I even deal with that? I don't think I can. Man, he's gonna play Jade Idols off it too, I'm sure of it. Shoot! Shoot! I think I gotta just hope. Okay, that one's a really good one for us. That's like the nuts. Exactly what we needed. It's my fandrel. Which is good, I can play like this. Pretty good. Wrap, not bad. Innervate. Ooh, do we go for it? I don't think so, but I think I will innervate regardless. Oh, it was so close. Oh man, it's so close. 
What if I draw the other inner right? It's an 8% chance. I don't think that's worth it. Oh my god! No, 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 no! 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 We drew No, we drew it! We didn't have time! I played it as quickly as I could! No! Oh my god, fuck! No! No! Oh, you wouldn't have two medals, bro! You'd be on two, not four! Oh my god, he wouldn't be able to swipe! Oh my god! Oh no... Oh, fuck me! Oh god fucking damn it! Oh, for fuck's sake. It's not like we lose for sure. But god, that would have been so much better if we had fucking been able to play that and take out Fandral. Fuck, man. Shit, we are so much further behind than him now. God damn it. God, this is so fucking bad. Ah, oh, this is so fucking bad. God. Oh, man. Jesus. Oh. Ah, I pulled me on me! This is the downside to, like, contemplating for so long and, like, playing at the last second. Sometimes that 8% happens, and you gotta have the time to actually play it out, man. Fuck. I can't rope that like that. I gotta stop roping. It's my fault. I gotta stop roping like that. Swipe, please, bail me out, man. This is so bad. He's gotten so many more jades than I have. That's helpful. But... I don't think it's enough. It's not helpful enough. Fuck, man. Oh, I'm fully not been able to do that! Shit! Alright, what do we do? What do we do here? How the fuck do we make this work? I just gotta, like, grip my teeth. And fucking hope this works. Like, I don't know what else I can do about this. God, he's so fucking far ahead now. Oh my god. Even if I draw a swipe, I don't know that that's enough, man. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's too late. It's too late to win the game. I'm still dead as hell, I can't help but blah 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 blah. Yeah, god damn it, man. Ah! Oh! oh, if only I'd been able to throw it and stop Thunderbolt! Ah! Oh! He wouldn't have been able to swipe, and then my Fandral could have lived, and then I could have drawn, and oh, I would have had fuel, and I would have been able to get my Jades out sooner. God! Man! That's so brutal. Unforgiving. Unforgiving. This game will be the death of me, man. There's nothing I can do. Absolutely not. Alright. 
Rook me. I can see. Like he got so far ahead in like spamming Jade Idols, and I still had a counter that kept up with him. If only I had been able to play my nourishes, but I couldn't get them out. I could never get them out because I couldn't keep Fandral alive because I didn't play it to defend him. God dang it, man. That was so close. One more. One more. I'm tilted. One more and then we gotta call it. We're gonna be right back up and at it tomorrow, first thing, so. Okay, quite the ramp we got going on here. My greetings. Shame we don't run Astral Communion. Feel pretty good in this hand. Alright, so now I'm bringing in. He's aggressive. I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna wild growth with it. Just do it like that. Wild growth next turn. Keep it calm. Just be mana efficient each turn. Should be able to handle him. It's fine. I'm not even afraid of that either. So I can swipe it. I'll just eat it for a turn and swipe next turn. It's fine. No worries. No worries. Here comes the value train, oh baby. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm actually gonna do it like this. Just to get rid of that flame tongue. No shenanigans here with the flame tongues. We can coin out Drake if we ever really feel like we're in a toughie. Oh, Pyros, baby! Oh, it's fucking on, man. I think you know to whom the situation resembles when I say it is on. It is on so hard. Let's fucking go. Give me that Pyros, man. Yes! More value, yes. Good. Whoa! Flame Elemental. What? Fire, fire elemental, excuse me. Whatever. Whatever, dude. That's what you're gonna do with your life. Guess I'll just chill. Let you do that. And I'll be over here. I'll actually save that so I can get more. It's a little less mana efficient, but I can get more value off the shielding. And I don't want to open myself up to a second devolve and just be like, in Super Frown Town. Now I will play. Oh, that's nice. It's a nice little kicker. I got the best deals oh, baby, that's what I'm talking about. Hit me with the value. Now that's what I call value. Alright. That's gonna be GG. I'm gonna have a hard time coming back from that one. If I know what deck he's playing, which I don't because he's playing some weird cards in it, but... It's gonna be tough. Oh, 
don't think that's going to do it for him. Especially when I got some fuel here. Well, I got my Infinite Fuel coming up right now. Right here, right now. Got Rage, not bad. I think we start with Zidra. That's a good one. Let's take the free draw first, though. There's my fan drill. That's what I'm looking for. Behold! I mean, I can do this. Yeah, I think that's probably better. I was thinking about wrapping it, but I don't think I really need the extra card draw. I think that's just like greeting for card draw for basically no reason. I'm going to do it like this. Time to pay! Ash, good, good. Yeah, mid range feels pretty weak right now, honestly. It does not feel strong when I'm up against it, at least. I think it's because aggro isn't like holding us to our holding us in check as far as like us being uh, control players. Like this is some, some silly shit. Like no one, <laughs> no one should be playing a Jujutsu deck like this and getting away with it as consistently as I have today. And I only just started struggling towards the end of the day here too. Look at all the shiny value. I don't even know where to begin here. Uh, we'll start with this. We will go on to that. Oh, baby. Yeah, I'm in no rush here. I'm in no rush, lethal or not. I'm just chilling, man. I'm gonna enjoy this one. Can get back to rank seven and land call it a day. I don't want to. I don't want to stop beneath where we were earlier because we're only gonna have so much time tomorrow. I've got a hard out at like six or something. I gotta stop the race at. So we're either gonna have hit legend or we aren't. So we shall see what we can do here. I don't think so. I think I look for wild growth. Yeah. Just want more ramp, I think. My greetings. I don't feel like I lose to mage from early game stuff. Like, tempo burning mage? Not what's stopping me. Not what's stopping me. What I think stops me is not being able to get to my juice. An incredible 
doesn't tell me at all what I'm up against. <laughs> that tells me no information at all. We have many. Okay, we're up against the secret mage. Okay. Great, so I just gotta worry about tempo then. And this is whoa 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 whoa. This is great card given the ward state. Okay, unfortunately you do get the mirror entity on it, but it's alright. It's not the most aggressive stat line. It's just its value for turn four, but that happens. I think I can get some good swipe value out of here. Is he just fireball on my face? He fireballed that right. Okay, yeah. I was gonna say, whoa! Whoa, he's playing way more aggressive than I thought he would. Um, can I swipe in? No, I don't have quite enough. I'm swiping Thalnos, though. That'll clear out a lot of this garbage. I think that's good. Let's do that. And then I can save Earth and Scales for Gadgetson. It feels so bad to innervate out top like this, but I really think I have to. I don't think it's an option. Thanos is going to give me a card draw, so I'll have two cards on top of the Earth and Scales. Probably not going to draw innervate, but I might draw a Jade Idol. I might draw another Earth and Scales. Out of the four of those, it's not so unlikely that I wouldn't draw one of them. There's another gadget zone, so that's okay. That kind of bails me out a little bit. Because I'll play this one, Earth and Scales it, and then I'll have to deal with it. Nice, a Jade Idol. That's what I'm talking about. I got the best deals anywhere. Okay, Wild Growth, that's pretty good too. Um, is this my last Jade Idol? No, it's my first. Good. Good, good, good. So that auctioneer has like super taunt on it. It's got spell taunt. Okay, good. So that soaked up another fireball from him. That's all his fireballs. All the theater bulls. Good. All right, and then I can. How to do? You like this? I think that's fine. Not the most tempo of you play, but we can we can make that work. Because he can like take her out pretty easy, but she does summon. Ooh, to the face. He's going for it now. Oh fuck, he got white eyes. <laughs> oh no. Oh dear. Oh dear. This is not good. Um, well, shit. That's rather unfortunate for me. I guess fuck it, we just gotta deal with it. You die now. Look at this. Kinda play into flame strike, but not so hard. Spend the mana now. Kind of telegraphs out of gadgets in next turn, but I'm okay with that. Blizzard would suck for sure. You could even have gotten Blizzard on that. Okay, meteor. I think I had decent meteor positioning. Maybe could have been better. Yeah, I, I should have placed that. I should be playing around meteor more. That's my own fault. This is a good top deck though. That's really nice. I'm gonna armor up like this. So I think I can milk this out. I might be able to get Fandral too. But I don't really need the attack in this matchup. I just need to not die, thanks to the armor, so. 
If it's a one-time offer to get one additional armor, I'm gonna take that instead. Excuse me, you are on fire. Yeah, yeah, I'm always on fire. Come on, let's go. To the face. Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. He's going like to the face. This is concerning. Again, playing a little bit in uh, his AoE potential, but I mean, I guess I'll just do this instead then. Probably should have drawn first, not last, but you know, whatever. Alright. That'll do. That'll do! That'll do. Checkmate! Checkmate! Yes! <laughs> very well, very well. Yes! Okay! So win the next game, and we got a nice little win streak going. Well, and then we might keep going even with the win streak. We, I, I was thinking about stopping at 7. Maybe stop after the win streak. I don't want to get greedy now. I don't want to get punished for getting greedy, but... You want to write it if we have an opportunity to. I don't think Rhythm Scales is good to keep early. Definitely do want one Jade Idol. Not two, though. Good. That's a pretty good opening. Nourish is a little questionable, but not so much so. That's actually like perfect. Since I top deck Jade Spirit. Because I can two, three, four. Since all have ramped a little bit. Three. Hopefully he does nothing on turn two. Well, I mean pings. Hopefully that's all he does. Then I can get some draw. Refuel a little bit. After he's dealt with this, and I'll be good. In theory. Perhaps. Okay, I'm not going to want this instead. It's fine. I'm not intimidated by that. Fine! I'm not intimidated! I'm not intimidated! I'm not! <laughs> Playing the secret is going to be slow, though. Does enable things like Medivh's Valet, but the secret itself is going to be a slow move. I don't know if that's Counterspell. Okay, well, I think I'll do this. In case it's counterspell. Not counterspell. It's fine. I sub little could. It could still be mirror entity as well, but not as expecting that. I haven't seen like super signs of tempo from him. Okay, great. Great, 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 great. Super good for me. Totally gives me an excuse to nourish. Didn't even get anything we could do aside from tap. Great. Wonderful. Fantastic. I don't know what to Ba da ba ba ba! I'm the Dene. <laughs> Can't believe I just did that jingle. <laughs> Okay, good. That's a slow tempo turn for him. Allows me to do this. Which is a little slow for me as well. That's okay.
Next turn, I can Fandral, Nourish, Wrath. And have tons of fuel. Even if Fandral dies, I'll be fine. Ah, oh, sheep, that kind of sucks. Fucks with my Jade counter a little bit, but whatever. I'm okay with that. Because I got higher, I actually do have higher value targets. She's not what's going to make my Jade insane, the Jade Idol is, so. I'm going to go like this. I'm going to do that. Then we're going to go. So I drew an inner date, I didn't. Like this. Perfect. And now, if Fandral survives, that would be sick. But if he doesn't, like so. Nice, it's a good roll for us. She's running out of ways to destroy this auction here, so. Go ahead and start with the auctioneer here. I got the best deals anywhere. Digging for interview is what we're looking for here. Press me on your hand. No, we can do this. This is fine. There's the interview. Perfect. Stick with it. Reconsidering for just a moment. Time waits for no one. Okay. There we go. There it is. We got it off. Sure now she deals with that. I guess he is a smoothie. That's fun. I'm not frightened about that. In fact, I'll even throw my face at it. I'm so unafraid. I'll throw my face into it. And do this. And do this. More expensive one instead of the cheaper one in case we get the other gadgets in. Okay, great. Lovely. Alright, well, I can do it for us, but whatever. Luckily, I have infinite jade, so, you know. Uh... Yeah, I mean, we'll just do it like this. It's like, how many times can you actually deal with this? We chewed through all his cards. He had he had a lot of draw from the card creation, but it actually didn't have so much. It just felt like it because he had Primordial Glyph and uh, Archaeologist. Is that his second glyph? I think that's his second glyph. Maybe he didn't have that much card draw. It just felt like it was pretty value stuff. His Firelands portal, I guess, was part of it too. Firelands gave me a lot to deal with. I guess that was his first cliff. I guess I'm just wrong. Yeah, it happens. Not ashamed to admit it. Checkmate. Well Checkmate. Well damn! That's right, back into seven. Rank seven, it's good to be back. Not in for the hundred gold a day, don't worry. Yes! Yes! Alright. Doing well? Doing well? Looking good so far. Jaina. Jaina. 
All right, Roliday. We've been going up against a lot of mages. Got a good uh, streak of wins so far here. Wild growth it out. Yeah, I think I actually keep this. So I coin, then I do that, and then I this and tap. I'm not sure that's like perfect opening, but that's pretty good. It ramps me pretty hard. It also allows me to do this. Yeah, we're going for it. I'm a little low on fuel in this opening, but I do get some jade tickers going. An incredible discovery. Okay. And getting that right off the bat is kind of tough. Let the pain oh, the pain speaks to him. Alright, well that's where my wrath is going. Unfortunately, it's not going to draw me a card. But... That's the way she goes sometimes. It's more important to deny him cards, I think. Next turn I can Jade Behemoth and Jade Idol. And I've already got quite a few Jades up. It's pretty good value. Kind of hard for him to deal with on turn 4. And I can follow up with Jade Spirit and whatever I draw. I think the money draw is Nourish. Just so I can refuel. Maybe not like literally the top deck, but in the next like two or three cards. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. I'm gonna trade first in case if it's mirror entity. This was counter spell. Okay with that. All right, great. It's full control. So that's not going to get triggered. At least not relevantly for a while. Excuse me, you are on fire. I mean, it's fine. I'm going to do this. This one here. Barrier. Yep. Okay. And I'll do this. Go here and save this for fuel. All this is is card draw for me. Either with the gadget zone and play it, or um, just like overexpand my mana pool so I can get the card draw and hopefully get into Nourish or something. Okay, that's fine. That's a really good top deck for this situation. I mean, it definitely leaves us vulnerable to flame strike. But what are you gonna do? Sometimes you're vulnerable to flame strike, you know. Maybe flame strikes that's his whole turn. You get to draw and everything. And then Okay. Tap it. Tip tap tap it. Tip tap tap and in a beat. Tap tap and in a. Okay. Do this. I think that means he has no AOE. It's probably would have played with that one if he had it. It sucks. Um, I don't think it's that important to leave these guys up. Like, press his face. I don't think so. Uh, I like this. Because again, I don't think he has any mana. I'm looking either for the Nourish or the Gadgetsan Auctioneer. That's what we really need. We need our fuel. It's fine. I'm tempted to even wrath my own guy just to cut draw. Um, I'm actually okay with this. If he like just taps and I just tap, I think that I'm coming out ahead over that. I bring life. That's fine. Just 
She brings life and stuff. Yeah. That's what she does. It's her thing. <laughs> I think I have Wrath, actually. Do I have Wrath here? I think so. Draw last. Yeah, classic. I think I keep Jade Idol, because I don't want to draw Jade Idol. I really need to draw Fuel. Oh shit. That might actually hurt. Wow, it did. Charger. Alright, I mean, you know. Still holding up okay. Just not the best. But what are you gonna do? Okay, I drop. Alright. Uh, the card then scales it. It'd be hard to beat this. Wait, fucking Celia? Oh my god, it's a Reno deck! What? Then I should be fine, shouldn't I? If I can deal with his bullshit, I should be fine. Well, I feel much more confident now. I mean, this is scary. But his Celia went off. So that means this is... This is some stupid bullshit that isn't gonna work. Right? Is that how that works? That means this is... Bullshit. Right? Is this actually a good deck? He has a lot of fuel in this. This is, this is both shocking and very painfully disturbing for me right now because I'm on the other side of it. Shit. Well, I think we got Gat. He done diddly doo doo. Uh, <laughs> that too, I suppose. But he done diddly did us. Done diddly did us in. Oh, golly gee willikers. I think I have to trade into Mediv. Like, I don't know what else to do after that. It's kind of be like tough shit, I guess. We don't have our Infinijades going anymore. Just throwing him down his card draw, I suppose. Dang. Well played. Wow! That was a... That was a... A one-up deck! Incredible! That's incredible! Well, alright. I guess that's the sign for us to stop. I was not expecting that to be a deck I played against. Wow! Well, all right, I guess that's it for the day. What are we finishing at here? Rank seven, top four, not bad, not bad. Well, we can go higher. I know we can. The race continues. This was merely day one. Day one. Tomorrow we're gonna have day two. It's gonna be starting at Whenever I wake up, honestly. I'm, I'm, I got the hanker and I'm gonna do it as soon as I wake up. I'm gonna wake up, gonna eat a little bit, gonna take a shower, I'm gonna go live. Because you know what? I wanna hit legend. I wanna do this. I wanna win this race to legend. I believe we can. Uh, it's just a little tough, it's a little close, but I think we can do it. I think we can do it. So that's what we're gonna go for. And thank you for joining me on the race to legend and uh, Hopefully we can succeed. That way, uh, a little inspiration for you if you're ever playing and you're thinking, oh man, I only got like two or three days to play. 
uh, YouTube can still hit legend if you just play smart, adapt. We we started trying to do a lot of aggressive things. I was I was expecting there to be some uh, aggro decks because that's what I was used to before Catherine's below got changed. I was expecting uh, to find like maybe like a mid rangey kind of deck that like is tuned towards aggression. That's kind of what I was expecting to end up at. And here we are playing the latest game of late game decks in J Druid <laughs> at the end of the day. Uh, so you gotta adapt, you know. And uh, again. The tier list I referred to earlier on in the stream didn't necessarily recommend this deck. Shows that this deck isn't even in the top 10. Working well for me. So, adapt to what you see. Try and keep on climbing. Never give up, never surrender. And I hope to see you guys on the morrow where we shall continue to ladder to legend. Continue the race. And just so you know, we will have uh, this here calendar. Or, excuse me, calendar. Uh, Timer, we're gonna. I'm just gonna leave that up overnight, and we're gonna we're gonna continue it on so we can get the accurate measurement of how much time exactly was put into this race to legend, just so uh, we can see uh, if we do complete it, just uh, an actual time measurement of how long it takes to hit legend. So, thanks for tuning in, and I will see you guys on the morrow.